Kit Harington and Rose Leslie's Game of Thrones romance may not have lasted on screen, but their relationship was just beginning behind the scenes. This couple will forever be grateful to the show for giving them a family that may not have existed if they hadn't co-starred. The duo went from keeping their relationship a secret for four years to getting married and having a child. But not everything was always so magical. They had to overcome a lot of difficulties. From having to deny cheating scandals and getting Kit through a serious alcohol addiction, this couple faced a lot. It was the fall of 2011, and Leslie Rose had landed a guest role on the second season of Game of Thrones. <gasps> oh, a spider! Save me, Jon Snow! My dress is made of the purest silk from tra la 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 day While it's not known exactly when she and Kit Harington began filming, the pair had met before being cast as love interests. The actress was more than happy to be working with them because they got along so well in real life, so it made their character story more believable. It didn't take long for the couple to fall in love on set, and it was the start of one beautiful romance. Looking back on his favorite memories from the series, Harrington said the best moments happened while filming season two in Iceland. The country is beautiful, the northern lights are magical, and it was there that I fell in love. If you're already attracted to someone and then they play your love interest in the show, it becomes very easy to fall in love, he said. We really get on uh, as friends and and um, we, we hit it off very quickly when we when we first met and um, I think I think that reflects on screen, or hopefully it does, because we, we've got a good dialogue going off screen. In one interview, the actor was asked if he felt the duo had a meet cute, and the answer was a resounding yes. He is sure lots of people feel that way about their romances, but he knows theirs really was special. They were on an amazing TV show that was going global while in Iceland playing lovers. Hell of a romantic meet cute, might we say. The whole thing felt horrifically romantic. Doing something like this where it's two people meeting for the first time, and you can transport yourself to what butterflies felt like. I just remember thinking, God, I'm in trouble here. This could be trouble. Wonderful trouble, that is, he said. It took nearly four years for the private couple to confirm their relationship during their first red carpet at the Olivier Awards. But from there, things moved quickly. Well, for us at least. A year after confirming their relationship, they moved into the actor's house together. When asked about the new living situation, Kit said it was all going very well, though Rose did have some big changes in store for their home. And it's going well. She's got all sorts of ideas for the house. I've moved in with my best friend, Rose, so I'm very, very happy. I said to her, look, darling, this is important that it's our space, not just mine. Move anything, change anything, chuck anything out. I went to the shops, came back and said, what did you decide? And she said, we're moving the kitchen downstairs, he recalled. Although their relationship almost didn't make it when they moved in, Harrington recalled an April Fool's Day prank he pulled on Leslie when he put a severed head made in his likeness in the fridge. When she opened the refrigerator, she was petrified and hadn't even figured it was her boyfriend's head. It caused her to scream and fall to the ground. Yeah, yeah, no, I, um... It turns out, now you've seen that, that <laughs> she's not a big... Like, my family does April Fool's. Her family doesn't do April Fool's. <laughs> She was in tears and I was there going, April Fools. It didn't go down well. She told me that if I did it ever again, that would be it. And I think that's marriage included, he said. This caused him to pull less harmful April Fools Day pranks in the future. The number of props at his disposal had diminished and he wasn't sure what to do. Rose has a favorite almond milk and won't drink any other brand. So he wrote an article about how this company was going under because of Brexit. Unfortunately for Kit, his prank worked out a little too well. Now, this backfired because she immediately rang my PA and got her to bulk order this almond milk with my credit card. I ended up spending 150 quid on almond milk, he said. Here's something Jon Snow now knows. Don't mess with Egret. Kit and I, we are very good friends and we have similar senses of humor, which I think is an absolute blessing. Despite his continuous pranks, a few months after moving in together, the couple revealed they were officially engaged in a very old school way. They announced it in the Times of London newspaper. Kit later shared that he had initially made some romantic plans for the moment he popped the question. He was going to string up some lights and trees and do the whole romantic setup, but he couldn't wait any longer and ended up doing it on a trip to the English countryside. It was highly romantic. We were under this beautiful night sky and had a log fire burning and red wine, and I blew my load early. Sorry, that's a bad expression. I meant I popped my question a bit early, he said. 
In 2018, Leslie and Harrington walked down the aisle in a romantic ceremony at a castle belonging to the actress's family. And of course, plenty of their Game of Thrones co-stars were in attendance, along with 200 other guests. The wedding did seem to have a lot of references from the series. For one, the invite featured stamps of Jon Snow. The groom's brother also managed to work a line from the show into his best man speech, telling his sibling, Looking at the woman you're marrying, it shows you do know something, Jon Snow. What a sweet twist on the famous line. Not long after their wedding, the couple started facing many obstacles. The first was when Kit was forced to deny cheating rumors. A Russian model and actress claimed she had an affair with Jon Snow himself. Fortunately, it was all proven to be false. Then Kit had to say goodbye to Game of Thrones as the final season aired. The actor explained that he and Rose were excited to finish that chapter of their lives. The couple had actively been trying to distance themselves from their fictional counterparts, and they didn't want to be defined by it anymore. The man is hugely talented and always has been, and he gives himself, I mean, he gives it 110%. Once the show finishes, we get to break free of it a bit and just be us, which is a really nice feeling, he said. Even though there was a lot of excitement from him for the show to end, it sent the actor spiraling. Just a few months before the couple's first wedding anniversary, he checked into a treatment center. The actor's rep said he was utilizing the break in his schedule as an opportunity to spend some time at a wellness retreat to deal with personal issues. It eventually came out that he was battling an alcohol addiction, and he gave some insight into what triggered it all. This is a very addictive job. I go out, stand on stage, and get applause, and it's a huge rush and a high. The trouble is, I never want to come down from that high, he said. It came as a shock to the people around the actor because he kept his addiction very quiet. After a few months in the treatment center, he went home to his wife. He seemed to be looking better, feeling better and healthier than ever. He also opened up about his recovery when he got back home. You get to a place where you feel like you were a bad person. You feel like you were a shameful person. And you feel that there's no way out. That's just who you are. And getting sober is the process of going, no, I can change. Now I've learned how I do that, and I'm much happier for it, he said. The whole ordeal caused immense stress for his new wife. Leslie praised her husband's ability to recognize his addiction issues. She also explained that if it were not for rehab, he would be in a very different place now instead of being sober for several years. The actress also praised the AA community for providing a loving space for Harrington to feel heard and not alone. Rose understands that it is vital for Kit to recognize himself as an addict, and it will be something he is forever going to be aware of. I've learned a lot about addiction, but it's on him whether he chooses to drink again. No amount of nannying is going to be able to stop him from doing what he decides to do. I don't choose to put that pressure on myself. The responsibility of his behavior is on him. It's not on me to guard him from it, she said. A lot of tough love, well said. Even though Game of Thrones took a toll on Kit, he reflected on it over the years as one of the best things he's ever done. The show changed his life both professionally and personally. It gave me my future family. The last 10 years, you could not ask for a better job to have in your 20s than to be an actor in Game of Thrones. The most important job I'll ever have is about to finish. Well, not the most. Hopefully, I'll be a father, he said. In September 2020, his dreams came true as the couple announced they were expecting their first child. Then the happy pair welcomed their son and life couldn't be better. It's crazy, isn't it? It's quite, you know, rather than, isn't it amazing? Which is what I want to say, being a parent of a slightly older child now. The actress did open up about how she and Harrington shared parenting duties during filming. According to her, it was a glorious time because they had an understanding that when their son would cry in the middle of the night, it was on her husband to go and look after him. This was purely because she had to wake up early to work. Over six months after welcoming their child, Kit spoke about his fatherhood journey for the first time. He shared what a major change it had been for him and his wife. He also noted that even though he had been warned that a baby would change everything, he was still surprised. People told them what they were about to go through was big, and they had no way of knowing how big it was until it happened. What surprises you is you go, oh, this goes on forever. You don't get a break from it. It's a beautiful thing, it really is, he said. Harrington once again credited Game of Thrones for the life that he has today. He feels very privileged to have been in the show not only because of how it helped his career, but his personal life. There's a baby boy downstairs and my wife, who I met on the show. I looked at it from a perspective of anxiety, wondering what if that didn't happen. I've got no reason to be doing that now. 
our children will be able to see the genesis of their parents getting together, which is quite a wonderful thought, really. I thank the show for everything, he said. Kit Harrington and Rose Leslie are a prominent on-screen couple, and they are growing into a prominent off-screen couple, too. We are happy that Kit is now sober and living his life to the fullest in a healthy way with his family. We look forward to seeing what these two have in store for the future. Let us know in the comments below what you think about this story. This has been Rumor Chips. Be well and be kind.